pounds? Dude, I would be at the park and he'd be with his mom and the little kid, and, you know. And, but at yeah. night, after a wrestling match, I would go outside. And, yeah, there'll be like Dick the Bruiser, the Crusher, the Valiant Brothers, all the old wrestlers out there. Keep, keep naming them. Keep naming them. Keep naming them. Uh, the, the Claw, the Vag, the Claw. Uh, who else? Well, I don't know. But there was a lot of them. There was a lot of them that used to go there. Oh, that's awesome. Remember those wrestlers? Yeah. <laughs> Those are awesome wrestlers. I don't even remember oh, that. How old were you when, when that was going on? I was probably, you were probably barely born. Wow. Yeah, you were barely born because you, uh, you were born over there in uh, South Shore. So, yeah, you must have been like two or three. Wow. Uh, nice yeah, I remember that. That's crazy. My right stepdad, there. you know, he was golden gloves and all that. So he knew oh, a he lot. Of he was golden glove boxer. <clears throat> oh, wow. He was a trainer. Yeah, he trained out of uh, Besma Park. Oh. His nickname was Moose. Moose? Yeah. <laughs> Why did he call it Moose? <laughs> hey, did he go to Golden Gloves? Yeah, it's, yeah, he went to Golden Gloves. I don't know if he won or not, but he went to Golden Gloves, and then he trained a couple of guys. Louis Aguilar, yeah, DJ, he was, he was, the bird, the bird man, DJ, Lou, he trained him, and he won Golden Gloves. So he had a couple of Golden Glove fighters that he trained. He was in the Marines, yeah. so he was boxing nice. the Marines, and then, like I said, uh, <clears throat> I was too young, but my older brother, Rob, he used to go downtown. They had the amateur at the amphitheater, they had the amateur boxing, and my stepdad would go down there and have his matches and stuff. Nice. Yeah, it used to be a big, uh, South Chicago's a big place for Golden Gloves, man. Yeah, I, I knew a couple kids that were always training for Golden Glows out there. Man, I don't hear about that no more. You, you know, speaking so, of boxing. One time at, uh, at Cal, they, the, the, we, the boxers, we went to, like, for boxing, you know, like, they pick people and said, all right, we'll go. So it was like, we, I think I was, like, 10 or 11. So they got, like, I guess the coaches were bored. So they put, like, 14 of us in the ring, and they just go, all right, go. We were, like, thinking, like, we were all friends. We we're like, oh, what? <laughs> so start fighting. Punch each other. We had like those super big gloves, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. Like but somebody right was punching. All I know, somebody started punching, and I came out with a bloody nose. About six of us came out with a bloody nose. All you would do is like be hitting somebody. I was like, wham on the side. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> they were laughing so hard, these old guys. But oh my god, we just went at it. But they were just laughing. But I tell oh, you, yeah. half the people came out with a bloody nose. It was funny. Well, you know, speaking of boxing, look what I found yesterday. Uh oh. What is that? I can't see. What oh, is wow. What is it? It's, it's a Delahoya t shirt. Oh really? 1999. Oh wow. Who's he fighting? He's it's the challenge. It doesn't say who he's fighting, but it's uh we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Oscar hey, De La Hoya, 1999. Wow. What Man, is that? Hey, that's, hey, that's kind of funny because yesterday on uh Fox 32 regular TV. They got this guy, this white guy. He does interviews, and uh, he interviews, you know, some decent celebrities. And he had uh, Alvarez on there. Uh -huh. He interviewed uh, Canelo. Already? Oh wow! Yeah. He, yeah, he fought he, Trinidad. Felix oh, yeah. Trin Felix Trinidad. Yeah, Felix. yeah. That was that. That was their nemesis. Those two were always. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trinidad, Trinidad won by majority I, decision. Yeah. Yep. He was talking yeah, wow. about uh, 